What up guys, welcome to another vlog. As you know from the title of this video, yes, my dad was in a plane crash over Gatwick Airport. First of all, I'd like to give my condolences to all friends and family that would have lost someone that day. My dad has never been interviewed by any media. I have interviewed him and this is his account of what happened on that day. So you had this uh, plane crash um, coming from India. Where did you catch the flight from? We catch flight from uh, Amritsar to Afghanistan. Flight from Amritsar DC-10. Mm -hmm. Then we landed in Afghanistan, Kabul. Then from Kabul, we catch the flight Boeing 727 to Gatwick. When we everybody get into the flight. On your ticket, you were sitting on a different uh, seat. That's just a difference. I was sitting on the right hand side seats in the middle. Okay. Close to the window. Okay. Then uh, when the ladies came, they asked me, can you sit on somebody else? Okay. And uh, I got two kids and uh, I can have uh, this place. I say, yes, okay. okay. Then. Uh, it's on the left hand side, one is the gentleman sitting down okay. and ask them, okay, if I sit down, he said, okay, and I sit down to the left hand side. Okay, so this is at the front of the plane that you sat? Yeah, front of him, there's the left hand side. And, okay, you were on the aisle seat? Yeah, the aisle seat. Yeah. And he was on the uh, window he seat? on the window side. And, and then who sat in the middle? Is the empty. The middle seat was empty? We, would, uh, we put it, our luggage in the middle part of okay. the seat. Okay and uh, then we start journeying okay. to Afghanistan. When we did the Frankfurt, we stopped there about an hour or 45 minutes. Then start from Frankfurt to Gatwick. When we reached the Gatwick, a couple of miles before we reached the runway, and the pilot is announced, he said, uh, we are reaching Gatwick Airport. Okay. Can you please bring the all the seats forward mm -hmm. and put the seat belt down? Okay. So every passenger is do what he says. Okay. And uh, keep carrying on. After a few minutes, in the plane is hit something like on the bottom part of the plane, and uh, I feel it's the plane is not touched to the ground runway. So I doubt. Instantly, in a few seconds. And plane was struck ground and uh, start fire. Fire then is uh, keep trying to give the race to try to take it off, but he cannot do it because his uh, wings is damaged. Okay. And uh, he hit the, the house. The house is completely flat. Okay. And uh, he got a two people over there, and uh, both of them is killed. And he's got a little daughter was mm -hmm. safe. Okay. She is in the front. Then uh, suddenly the plane is destroyed on my side okay. and I thrown out from the seat to the ground. I put a hand on my face because it's fire and uh, saved my eyes and uh, when I stand up, the, one of the gentlemen is good, uh, was very foggy, can't see very well and came to me and uh, I said, I'm all right, would you please help to the others? Then I see the lights was on on his house and I proceed there. When I went to his house, his Mrs. get up and ask me, what do you want to drink? I say, anything. Mm -hmm. Then they suddenly make a cup of tea for me. I was bleeding my hand and my leg, foot, and uh, I just pick the cup up and uh, drink it. And uh, suddenly a gentleman bring one woman, one girl to his house. He was, he can't sit down. He lying down on the floor. And uh, then I asked him, I said, crying is no good at all. It's your What's to happen is you have a cure, mm. so then it's uh, quiet and uh, suddenly the ambulance is arrived. Then the two gentlemen hold me my both arm, right and left, and took me to the ambulance, then took me to the hospital. And uh, when I reached the hospital, I get up from the ambulance and they take my coat off and also cut my trousers and the shirt and then put me on the bed 
and uh, took me inside. He started doing the operation. My foot was badly burned mm -hmm. and my hand was badly burned. They bandaged on my both hands and the operation, my leg. So you had severe like burns yeah, over your body? And, uh, my upper muscle, they yeah. took the skin out, skin graft. Skin graft, yeah. Yeah, skin graft. Then they would place it on my foot. On your foot, yeah. So my foot is at the moment also, is a shame, it's not good. Mm -hmm. Little toe been uh, destroyed. He chopped the little toe off. That's his the hand okay. of the horse. Okay. I doesn't know anything. Yeah. So on the plane, you said you took your seatbelt off. Uh, what made you take your seatbelt off? Because it's a fire in the plane. So you thought that... Uh, uh, if, you, if you don't take it off, it could be burned. So you would have ended up burning on the plane? Yeah, burn the burn in the plane. So, so because you took your seatbelt off, it's basically saved you? It's a saved me because uh, I was thrown out from the plane. So you got the was a fire. If I don't take the breath off, could be born off. So how how long did you end up staying in hospital for? I stayed in the hospital roughly three months and uh, out of work for six months. Okay. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, that's all right. That was incredible how he survived that plane crash. If that passenger hadn't asked him to swap seats, and if he hadn't unbuckled his seatbelt as he was engulfed in flames, and if he hadn't been jolted out of the plane as it crashed, he definitely wouldn't have survived. There is no wrong or right action that you can take when you're in that situation but that definitely was the luckiest day of his life. If you have any comments to this video leave it down below. Please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and I will see you in the next vlog. Take care. Bye.